Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a very, very, very special art episode. In fact, there's so much art in this episode that I'm gonna make two episodes out of it. This is part one. And uh, what are we gonna be talking about today? Oh, well look at this perfect timing. La Noche Blanca, as you guys can see there. All right. So if you guys aren't aware, um, I'm gonna be telling you what La Noche Blanca is. Pretty much around twice a year out here in Merida, they have um, this art festival that in which you know they enclose a good majority of uh, El Centro and especially the area where I live in. And um, our plan, look, so I'm here, I'm out here with Christian. Hey. And our plan um, was to actually just go and hang out and enjoy um, La Noche Blanca. But what ended up happening was that a couple weeks ago she actually got a job to do a mural um, and do live painting during this event. See, again, as you can see, look, the, the, the signs are everywhere. We're in the middle of, um, you know, where this is Calle 60, where all the art galleries are. And if you guys look up ahead, in the distance, you guys are seeing that they're setting up a stage. And this is again, Parque Santa Ana. You know, not only are they setting up a stage, but pretty much all of... Wait, see, I knew I knew I know something about this place. She knows the guy behind this. You want my blog? She knows the guy behind this right here. That's what we're trying to say. There's a lot of loud music playing. They're setting up the stage. Again, you know, they're setting up the festivities, as you guys can see. I'm going to do more talking later. She has to get to, you know, painting, and I'm here stalling. But, yeah, I'll show you guys more of this later. I'll show you guys more of this later. So, right now, actually, so what today's episode is, on, is going to be about, today is Saturday morning. All right? Look at all this traffic, guys. Look at all this. Today's Saturday morning. And, um... It's uh, Saturday the 14th. Yesterday was day one. Today is day two of the event. So yesterday, um, we were actually, um, you know, not, not, uh, yesterday she was actually painting the mural. And uh, today, we're going a little early. Today we're going a little bit earlier in order for her to, you know, get some work done. So that way, um, by the time that the event starts again tonight around 8 p.m., um, 7 p.m. or whatever um, she can be um, live painting again you know what I mean with uh, everybody's walking around and enjoying um, the festivities so you know what is gonna be happening tonight well again you know all the art galleries are open all the museums are open um, there's art on the street there's music on the street there's performances on the street every every single mode of art every single art form is on display during these next two days so Again, you know, right now it's uh, the middle of the Christmas holiday season. That's where you're seeing so much crazy traffic. It's also payday. Um, it's also crazy hot and humid in case you're not, um, I know it doesn't really, um, what is it, cut through on the camera here, but yeah, for sure. Because if you guys hey. remember, if you guys remember last week, anyways, <laughs> if you guys remember last week, um, we were at the beach and it was nice. No, no, it was nice and cool. And, um, and, and and it was a great weather. And now today and last night, almost got run over there. But anyways, last night um, and tonight and today, it's crazy hot and humid, very humid. So again, the weather changes here all, all the time on the flip of a dime and um, it is what it is, but it's not a big deal. So again, right now, right now we're literally on our way to the place which is uh, called Siesta Fiesta. That is the hostel in which she, in which she is gonna be uh, uh, painting. So, you know, again, I'm, gonna, I'm going out there walking her, literally, we're walking her to, to work. And then I'm gonna help her set up a little bit. And then I'm gonna walk back and we're gonna have more of a talk, all right? All right, so we're here. Let me show you a little bit real quick. Um, but yeah, here we are. This is the place. This is what's going on. So, uh, yeah, let me show you the mural, guys. Okay.
All right, guys, so we're in the hotel right now. Um, Christian went out ahead to the kitchen. So this is a hostel, okay? So but as you guys can see, there's artwork, you know, it's being displayed. You know, there's like a little bar with a pool over there. There's music playing, you know, trying to avoid that area. And then these are the rooms, I guess. I don't know if there's people in there. It's probably dark as hell anyway. But anyways, all right, just showing you guys around a little bit of our daily life out here. She's in there in the kitchen getting some water for her paint because she's going to paint. <laughs> and yeah, look at this place. It's pretty nice, huh? So yeah, so I'm just gonna go help her up. I'm gonna go help her out real quick. I'm gonna see if I can uh, help her set up the ladder. We gotta set up, um, you know, just set her up a little bit and then that's it. I'm gonna walk back home. So I got things to do. I'm gonna let her do her thing out here. I got work to do back home. And then that's it. She's gonna come back home later. We're gonna get dressed, you know, get all nice and pretty. And then we're gonna come back out here to hang out during the event. Now she's gonna be painting as I am gonna be out and about um, filming, but we're gonna both be doing stuff and it's gonna be awesome. So, here, let me show you some more of her. Oh, y la escalera. ¿Dónde está? Hola, el héroe. Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Muchas gracias. Alright guys, so I just left my honey bunny behind so that she can start getting to work on that painting. I gotta get down back to the house because I got a lot of work to do. I got a few errands I gotta run as well. And uh, that's it. And so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, walking and talking on the way back so you guys can, uh, you know, get an idea. So that next time you're out here, because this uh, this Noche Blanca thing is something, is something that happens, you know, something that happens out here all the time. You know, literally, like I said, around twice a year, you know, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, but I know minimum twice a year, maybe three, but for sure twice a year. And uh, basically, what, like I said, you know, right now it's um, the main... Uh, you know what I'm going to do as I'm talking right now? I'm going to be showing you guys the map. So, um, so you guys um, can look at the map as I'm talking. But right now I'm walking up Calle 60, which is literally on the way to um, Parque Santa Ana. And so, um, you know, so like literally from where we were right now, we were right in front of Mercado 60. Mercado 60 is like this restaurant. It's like a place that, again, you can just Google it and you'll know where it is. And um, we were at the place that was called Siesta Fiesta. That's the hostel. And it's right across the street from Mercado 60. And this is Calle 60. This is 
Calle 60, which is 60th Street, 60. All right. And I know it's very, very loud and very windy today. But um, but yeah, you know, we're making the effort to, to make this video because, you know, when I'm, what, what this video is all about is just, again, you know, like the pregame before tomorrow's episode, in which tomorrow's episode you're really going to see, you know, all the fun stuff, okay? All the stuff that uh, that we filmed Friday night and we filmed tonight, okay? Because um, I was able to film um, a lot of really cool stuff last night. I'm going to film a lot more stuff to tomorrow night. I mean, tonight, I mean, and then I'm going to put it all together for you guys tomorrow. You're watching this on Friday, and tomorrow's episode, Saturday, is the actual Noche Blanca, all right? Which is going to encompass the both days. Now, as I was saying, going back to the map, um, so right now, literally, we're from that area where um, where Becalo 60 is. It's right where Paque Santa Lucia is. Literally, all the way from... Parque Santa Lucia all the way north all right on 60th Street until we get to Parque Santa Ana all right now this area of Parque Santa of this you know this area of 60th Street you know from Parque Santa Lucia all the way to Parque Santa Ana is where most of the action is actually gonna be happening um, throughout this whole event because um, as you guys can see from the map all the other events are still kind of scattered now you know this event I can I can already see how this is something that you know it, it's uh it's only the beginnings it's only the 12th year all right there's only the, the 12th year that this event is going on but you can already see that they're planning for the long run you know they they, they want to make sure that this is an event that is here for a very long time and that's going to be encompassing all of its central and a good majority of the city as it grows uh so you know right now a lot of the concentration of the art and a lot of the concentration of a lot of this stuff is going to be in the area where i live which is uh Barrio de Santa Lucia, man. Again, it's really windy. Apologize, but uh, yeah. So it's gonna be El Parque. I mean, a barrio around El uh, Parque Santa Luz, Parque Santa Ana. I'm sorry, Santa Ana, Santa Ana. The Barrio de Santa Ana. That's where all the events are basically all happening, which is where we are approaching right now. So, as you guys can see, here we're gonna go through here, so I can show you guys around. I'm gonna show you guys around Parque Santa Ana a little bit, all right? And again, you guys have been, I've shown you guys Parque Santa Ana a million times before, but this time there's stuff here. So again, it's um, all, they're all setting up for tonight, which is like La Noche Blanca, all right? And as you guys can see, they're setting up tents. They're setting up chairs, you know, they're setting up a stage. They're setting up all kinds of stuff. As you guys saw earlier, you know, they were already uh, playing music and they're already getting everything ready, all the festivities. You know, you can already imagine all the stuff that's gonna be out here. There's gonna be a bunch of art, artisanal products, people selling food, art, um, you know, jewelry, all kinds of artisanal things, you know, from soaps. You'll see, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow, all right, on tomorrow's episode, when you guys are gonna be able to see all that stuff <clears throat> that's happening not only here in Parque Santa Ana, but it's gonna be happening. Oh yeah, see, look, they closed this off here. I thought I was gonna be able to walk through, but see, they closed it off right now. So I'm gonna go around, all right? But yeah, so tomorrow's episode, you're gonna be able to see all the festivities, all the fun stuff is gonna be tomorrow night. Right now, I'm just giving you the pregame. I'm showing you guys around. It's Saturday morning. Um, yesterday, Friday morning, there was a, basically the same thing as going on today. This stage wasn't set up. They were setting up other stuff here. They were setting st other stuff up all over the place. Sorry, there's music playing that way, so we're going this way. But, you know, basically, a lot of the action is concentrated right now. Um, you know, during, um, during this um, Noche Blanca and the one from the, the last one and, the, and, the, and last year, you know, pretty much all the stuff is concentrated around el, this area, which is Santa Ana, the el Barrio de Santa Ana, which is where I live. Parque Santa Ana and, um, and, and, and Paseo Montejo. So um, I'm gonna see what as much, I'm gonna show you as much as I can uh, with tomorrow's video, but um, again, you know, I'm gonna be showing you 
um, Parque Santa Ana. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can show you Paseo Montejo and all the stuff that's happening out there. I'm gonna see if I can, I, I'm definitely gonna show you a little bit of its Centro, um, its Zocalo and all that good stuff, you know, all the stuff that I found out there. But as you guys can see, as you guys saw from the map, um, things are kind of like spread out and they're, you know, hard to get to. So what I'm gonna be concentrating on and tomorrow's episode and, and today, as you guys can see from all the things that I'm doing here, is, is, the, is, is the area of El Barrio de Santa Ana, all right? So again, here, let me show you a little bit of a behind the scenes. So you guys can see what's up. So yeah, you know, again, they're just setting up here for a lot of fun. Coming up real soon. So look at that, and then see, look at that. There's a sound uh, sound mixer guy. I'm, I'm guessing they're gonna set up more chairs, more stuff around here, as they always do. And then that's it. I mean, you know, it's basically it. Again, you know, this is changing. Every time that they do this event, it keeps growing, it keeps changing, it keeps everything. In fact, let's now go across the street for one quick minute. They finally opened it up. They opened it up just in time. That, that place that I always tell you guys about, that place that I'm always, you know, um, uh, showing you guys and all that stuff. Let me see if we can get ahead. There we go. We got ahead. All right. So, yeah. So, this place, we just walked by it a little earlier and we saw it was already open. And so, they opened it just in time for La Noche Blanca, which is great. And um, I was learning from a Christian that she actually knows who owns this thing. So, as we were talking about it earlier, look how close. Look how close. But as I was, uh, it's a lot of traffic today, a lot, a lot of traffic, more than usual. Again, everyone's getting paid, it's Christmas, it's Noche Blanca, there's like a million things going on. But anyways, let me show you real quick. So this place, literally, literally, the place that I've been talking to you guys about for a long time, you know, this place right here that, um, again, you guys remember that this was a pile of dirt, it was like an old abandoned building, and now look how beautiful Look at look how they beautified the building. Look how awesome. And I, and I told you there's gonna be some sort of art stuff in here. And granted, that's exactly what it is. So they opened it up just in time. I don't know if it's open right now or not, but let me see. Let's just go in here. All right, and uh, I'm gonna show you, all right? No, oh, it's closed. Oh, well. I tried, I tried. But basically, I guess what I was trying to tell you is that Christian knows the owner of this place. In fact, um, Christian, uh, I, th I think it was a mentor of Christians or a teacher of Christians, but we, I, I think I've met the guy as well. It's just there's so many people already out here, but yeah, so we know the people behind this place. Who knew, huh? I've been talking about this place for the longest time and I had no idea that I actually know who the fucking people behind this place is. So that's pretty awesome. And actually, I'm gonna see if I can uh, get in here tonight so I can show you guys more in depth and more in detail you know, what is inside of here. But uh, yeah, here, let's cross the street again so you guys can see. But yeah, this place is finally open. The place I've been talking to you guys about for a while now. And again, not, not only is it open, but I know the people behind this. And oh, and it's local. That's the thing I was trying to tell you. So it's a local guy. It's not foreign investment. This is an actual local guy. And it's actually a Cuban um, that is like an art mentor, art teacher, art um, instructor, I don't know, uh, like a big guy in art out here. And um, I'll see if I can get you guys the name, all right? Got the generator. But I'll see if I can get you guys the name. I'm horrible with names, but he might be named Jose, but I have no idea. Don't quote me on that. But regardless, uh, yeah, that's who has this place. And again, now we're going to be walking down Calle 60. And you're going to be seeing this at night, how different it is, okay? So as you guys can see, every, every single... So what happens... Let me give you a little bit, because the thing is that tomorrow's video is going to be a lot more music and I'm going to just be showing you all the cool, pretty things. But, you know, basically what's, what happens is that every single place, whether it's an art gallery, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's a hotel, it doesn't matter. Again, any one of the, all, all, all businesses that, you know, could benefit 
from all of these tourists or from all of these people walking around and all that good stuff those are the ones that are open so again you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, all the stores are open all the artisanal stores all the art galleries are open all the museums are open all the hotels are open all the restaurants everything's open and they're open extra late and uh everywhere you go depending on where it is you know that art gallery they got something else they got something special going on at the hostel where where, uh, where christian um was painting you know right now a little while ago there's um special stuff going on they got 25 dollar beers they got saxophone uh playing they got like an art gallery they got they got christian painting they got all those things going on so as as you walk around la noche blanca um literally um you're gonna be um you're gonna be offered all kinds of really cool things so like for example like again we don't know until until tomorrow when you guys see tomorrow's episode but as we walk into a lot of these galleries and a lot of these stores we're gonna see so look at the lights look at everything's already you know what i mean but anyways you know they, they offer all kinds of things you know whether they're just offering open doors in the middle of the night or sometimes they offer little goodies they offer you wine they offer music they offer all kinds of stuff see look eventos gratitos you know what i mean so literally this place is gonna have all of these things all right as far as i know or maybe this is all of uh, merida never mind because some of these some some of some businesses uh you know uh, did the smart thing and oh, and did their own noche blanca you know to tell people what they're doing in their own place but then you see the noche blanca ones you know the the actual posters you know there's two types of posters the posters that are alerting you of the whole event happening throughout the city and then the other posters you know of um again you know like the individual businesses created their own posters you know to let you know what's going on at their own particular place so again as you guys can see there's an art gallery you know they're painting and doing stuff over there you know there's all kinds of stuff going on i think they're just doing some regular um work on that you know it just so happens to be this weekend but you know that's basically it and again you know not only um are you seeing you know you're seeing all the stuff hold on what are you um, you're seeing, you know, all the lights. As again, you know, you, I walk down the street all the time. But you're never going to see, you know, all these lights. But again, guys, as you guys can see, you know, this is um, all the art galleries are opening up. We got this one over here. Hey, it's me. It's me, Jose. <laughs> but yeah. So I think I'm going to start wrapping this episode up. All right, so I can. Uh, um that's it because this is pretty much it this is where it all ends around here so again you know pretty much after i walk out of my house look again more artisanal look handcrafted mayan products this place is going to be open there's going to be a lot of really cool places there's a lot of places that for the most part kind of remain semi-closed and uh yesterday as i was walking around i already saw that they were opened up even more there's like an antique store that i walk by all the time and it always seems like it's closed and as I was walking by earlier today, as I was walking last night, it was wide open, you know, having everybody, you know, they open space in there in that cluttered antique store so that people can walk in there. So, you know, again, it's funny because I was having a conversation with somebody last night that I met last night um, during this event. And um, he's also an expat, but he's an expat from Argentina. And uh, we were talking about how, you know, this city... Is, is this city is so full of art and there's like cables on the floor anyways yeah, this is cool i love how mexico does things by the way they, they know how to set up a party they know how to really set up but anyway so i was talking to this guy and um you know we came to that conclusion as well just like a lot of a lot of people come to the conclusion about merida merida is full of art and culture it really really is and um, a lot of locals and, and even Christian, you know, are guilty of not seeing all the art and culture. Look, when I lived in Miami, I didn't know that we had so much art and culture. I just thought it was fucking Miami, whatever. But then I realized basically that, um, yeah, Miami is full of, you know, art and culture and then some. Like a lot of art and a lot of culture. That's 100%. So it's the same thing here. Sometimes when you're, you're in a place and you don't see the awesomeness of it is... You know the awesomeness of the place that you're actually in so there's a lot of locals a lot of locals that don't really see all the art and the culture and the awesomeness that it is that is out here in Merida like for reals which is kind of you know interesting 
um, but when you are out here as an expat, when you're out here um, as, a, as a foreigner, when you've actually done some traveling and seen some things, you come out here and you're like, and you really, really, really appreciate it. I mean, again, no matter where you come from, you really appreciate um, this whole area and everything that they have to offer out here. But you, you really, 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 really get to appreciate it even more um, when you've actually traveled and been to other places, you know, and uh, you come out here and it's like, holy crap. This place is pretty fucking awesome on a lot of scales. So, you know, again, this whole art and culture, um, you know, festival, this whole thing that they throw together and they've been putting together again every year, twice a year, is a major, 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 you know, component to how they're growing out here because, you know, the city is growing, but it's growing in a really good way. You know, there's all growing pains, there's all kinds of things that happen, but, you know, when I see things like La Noche Blanca, you know, those are the things that I wanna see. You know, I might not want to see or interested in like the brand new high-end luxury mall in the north, but when they do things like this and they do more regular things like this, these are the things that I'm interested in. These are the things that I enjoy. These are the things that, you know, even when I was living in Los Angeles, you know, it's one of the things why I love Los Angeles so much. So when I see a lot of those same, you know, um, a lot of the same movements that um, I, I saw out there in Los Angeles, you know, when it comes to like the art, you know world and the the cold you know like all the other all other festivities all the little markets all the farmers markets you know all the or you know all that all the, all that stuff all the artisanal stuff and i see the same stuff out here but it's not like the local things you know it's more of like you know real you know like just like la it's that's an amazing thing that's an amazing uh for me personally it's something i really really love about being in merida one million percent I'm not gonna, I'm, I, I mean, for reals, you know? And, uh, you know, to me, the main reason why I loved LA so much was the fact that I was in a place that was full of artists. It was, uh, it was an artist haven, you know, more than I ever thought, because I, before I moved to LA, I always thought to myself, you know, oh, LA sucks. I don't wanna go to LA, you know, all of the, LA stereotypes until I actually visited and moved out to LA and I was like holy shit this is magic town I love it here it was so awesome and so amazing and a lot of the awesome things that I love about LA I see out here and when it comes to art you know when it really comes to art and the cultivation of artists and the cultivation of uh of the the actual you know what I mean the culture behind art and everything that has to do with it you know what I mean like meaning that you see all kinds of art here you see all kinds of things here you see and, and it's only the beginning and um there's a little known secret that a lot of people don't know but Merida is is supposedly the art and cultural capital of Latin America. And a lot of people don't know that. And again, even the people here don't know that and don't have, don't have no idea. But, you know, um, <laughs> when you see things like this and then you see even more things coming down the line on a regular basis that are just gonna keep emphasizing, you know, art, culture, family, you know, all of the awesome things, you know, that uh, make a city great. Again, there's no doubt, you know, not just in my mind, but I'm sure in your mind that, this is fucking heaven out here for reals and again it's not for everybody but at least if you're um more the you know art and culturally inclined this is the place to be because again you can go to the symphony for a few bucks like the real symphony you know um that puts to shame a lot of other symphonies around the world you know you got museums you got a muse you know you got art festivals you got food festivals you got all kinds of things and i'm um, sure it's pretty Mexi mexicanized but again, if you just like someone like me, I just came from LA, it's like, you know, this is kind of like uh, a lot of the events that they have out here. You know what I mean? So again, guys, you know, another amazing reason why Merida is awesome. And uh, you know, um, I think I'm just, like I said, I'm gonna end it here because um, I gotta start um, doing a bunch of stuff. I'm already home. So guys, stay tuned to tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be part two of this episode today we were just uh doing a little walking and talking talking to you guys about noche blanca showing you guys around uh, the little pre-game festivities and in tomorrow's episode i'm gonna do very little talking and it's gonna be basically you know me just showing you all kinds of really cool footage with some music and all that good stuff like how you guys uh know i know how to make awesome for you guys and uh and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed part one i hope you guys enjoyed um this little educational you know video about la noche blanca and got to see a little bit behind the scenes and if you did you already know what to do join us here tomorrow or if you're watching this video later on uh, just click at the link at the end of today's video so you can go to you know so you can view part two 
But uh, yeah, you know, um, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon and stay awesome. Don't forget to always stay awesome. Love you guys and I'll see you guys mañana for part two of La Noche Blanca. Peace. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.